Well, here I am, in the middle of the ocean after traveling across half the world. Just miles away from where my husband is supposed to be. You left a year ago to search for a cure for my affliction. Your letters kept me close to you, but suddenly they stopped coming. What happened, Opal? What did you find? Whatever it was, it led you to hire a crew and set sail from San Francisco to Tahiti. And from there, to this place. An island in the middle of the Pacific that the locals refused to even name. Everything is familiar. So familiar. As impossible as that may sound. Is this the island I dreamed about? This, this can't be a coincidence. idyllic island, surrounded by deadly reefs and protected with stakes to keep anybody from entering. Why? There's definitely something strange about this place. Okay, Harry. Let's see if I can find any trace of you around here. I'll leave my things in the boat until I find somewhere to camp. These wooden figures are called Unu. This seems to be telling a story. but clearly somebody wants to keep outsiders off this island. This may be the first time I trespass a private property. My childhood in Newburyport wasn't exactly the most thrilling thing. A mechanical bridge? That doesn't fit in with Polynesian traditions either. Harry said that he would go to the end of the world to find a cure. And by the looks of it, he wasn't lying. We promised we'd never lie to each other from the moment we started dating, no matter how harsh the truth. Wow, what is this place? I'd better have a look around this abandoned village. Harry's crew might have stayed here. 